mindset. Okay, so what's really important, um, even though technique is important without foundation, without the uh, working of you know making those techniques become a natural movement in the body, which is hours and hours and hours and hours of practice, whether our footwork, whether it's our kicking, punching, kneeing, uh, our side stuff, which is like strength and conditioning, cardio, all those things that are important to become a fighter, a warrior, a martial artist, or just an overall fit, strong person. But the one, number one ingredient and the more key importance of what I'm gonna say next is what's gonna ignite and put all those things you've been working hard on come together and come to life, and it's mindset. What is your mindset? What is your intention behind everything you're doing. For example, for myself, when I was training, I was training for a purpose. When I was training, I had a why. I had a reason why I got out of bed in the morning. So every time I would punch the bag, there was, it wasn't just a punch getting thrown. It wasn't just a, a technique being thrown or, or a basic foundation movement being thrown. It was everything and everything, which was the ability to get up there into the ring and win and become a world champion. So now all of a sudden, now you're punching with a whole different perspective, a whole different energy form of, of creativity. And when you do that, that's when things start, start to become real. A lot of people who train, when they, uh, they train, sometimes they train uh, with a false sense of security. And a false sense of security is as simple as, you know, making all these fancy combinations look good on the pads and almost becoming more like a, you know, a dance, you know, a dance routine than it is actually proper warfare. Okay, and that's the thing we need to keep focused on is that it's not a dance, dancing, dancing different moves and making it all look pretty. So with the intention behind that movement of the strike, which is the will to win, the will to be better, the will to be stronger, all of a sudden each technique and each, each move that you do has life. Okay, it brings life to it. People talk about my striking as aggressive. Why was I aggressive? I'm not an angry person as such, but I was super aggressive because it's kill or be killed. It's as simple as that. When the bell rings, it's kill or be killed. So it's either you or me, and I choose me over you anytime, any place, in any life form. So when you start to train with that mindset, your training increases, your power increases, your speed increases, because you now have a bigger, bigger life force of electricity running through your body, and that that gen, that penetrates over and flows over into all the things that you've been trying to do. So it's not about having super bad intentions every single day. It's about having the intention of winning. It's about having the intention of gaining those steps that you want to gain and becoming a champion. If it is in the ring, if it's not in the ring, it's just about being a stronger person, it's the same formula. It's the same formula. You need to bring the intensity level to the absolute boil, where you're now feeling that you can accomplish those things with the technique, with the mindset, and, and wrapping it all up into one, one, one ball, or one, one gift, one present. <laughs> so when, when I was throwing my elbow strikes, Yes, I had the technique behind my elbow strike. I had the form, I had the hours of practice, I had the bag work, I had the pad work, but I had really, what was really igniting it and fueling it was the kill or be killed mentality. It was the, the opportunity, and, and not necessarily you have to be aggressive to have kill or be killed. Let's just say I want to achieve mentality. I want to win mentality. I will win at all costs mentality. I want greatness mentality. It doesn't have to be the killer mentality, if that's not your nature or your soft-hearted uh, person, or you just don't want to connect to that kind of energy. But you have to use this mind to empower and to ignite the techniques that I'm teaching you in these videos, otherwise all it becomes is a dance movement. It might look pretty, but is it effective to its full capacity? So step back and think about what it is that you want to achieve before you step back into the gym and start throwing those kicks and punches and being aggressive and getting the job done. Mindset is all about winning.